All right, welcome to the Right Now Project. The Right Now Project is a podcast about finding and owning who we are. It's about learning to trust ourselves. Finally, it's about learning to trust our guts. It's about uncovering our authenticity and allowing who we are to soar. My name is Guy McPherson. I'm the founder here, and this is my journey too. If you're looking for something easy, this is not it. However, if you're ready to step up, ready to explore who you are, the ups and downs, the scars and scrapes, and realize the incredible value in that, this is your place. Let's get started. So last week, I uh, uh, didn't record an episode. Um, Actually, it was a week and a half ago because I felt as if I didn't really have anything to offer, anything to say. And this week, <laughs> it's a little bit different. So, you know, this this whole process is a uh, it's a mind fuck. I mean, getting divorced, blindsided, basically, is a a mind fuck. So, what happened is. Um, my ex needs to move in June. And I've been thinking, okay, am I going to move? Should I move? Um, <clears throat> within, within the same town. And I thought, well, let me ask, ask her and see what her thoughts are on, you know, what kind of a place she's looking for. And uh, she came over and she needed to get some stuff uh, some boxes she had left here. She got those and put those in her car. Came in for a little bit, and I said, uh, "You know, what kind of what kind of place are you looking for?" And she said, "I'm moving in with my boyfriend, who lives a uh, half hour down south." And I was floored. I was floored because, well, <coughs> excuse me. Number one, she's already got a boyfriend. I mean, we've, we've just been officially divorced for uh, six months. <coughs> Excuse me. And number two, because she's moving in with him. Now, this just set off a whole uh, cascade of thoughts and emotions. And honestly, I, I mean, look, if she, you know, she can do whatever she wants to do, you know, that that's her business. But, you know, with the kids involved, that's a whole other uh, animal in a sense. And I, you know, I said that, my God, how long have you, how long have you known this person? Oh, we've been dating for six weeks and you're already going to move in with this person. And she said, yeah. She said, well, you know, if, if I, didn't have to move out by June. I probably wouldn't be moving in with him, but it's it's going to that's the way it's going to be. So <clears throat> I I you know, I mean so all of a sudden now, you know, your your kid is going your kids are going to be around this other person. Who is this other person? Um and obviously, how how well can you know someone in six weeks such that you're going to move in with them? Look, people do stuff. I get it. If the kids weren't involved, I wouldn't bat an eye, but the kids are involved. Um, and it, it just feels fucked up, quite frankly. Um, yeah. <laughs> And I have to say, there's this other element that comes into play too. If I'm 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 being honest, and that's what this whole this whole podcast is about, really. And that is, holy shit, some other person, some other man is going to be, you know, quote unquote, parenting my kids. And, you know, I kind of feel like you know, my presence slipping away a bit. That's that's a part of this. It's not the, the large part of it, but it, it's definitely a part of it. 
the other part of it is just how quickly this seems to have happened. And, you know, I was working with a divorce coach. I, I mentioned that before. And as I've, I'm sure I've said this before, she said to me something that just continues <laughs> to ring true. And that is you have to realize that your ex is at a, because she initiated this, right? She's at a, she's at a different stage than you are. She's several steps ahead of where you are in this whole process. Okay. And this whole event just drilled that in further to, 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 to my reality, drilled it in further into my being. Now, I mean, that's, that, that's resonant because it, you know, you could think, well, you know, you're, yes, you're getting a divorce and, you know, even though you're getting a divorce with this person, you're kind of moving along, you're going through this process together, uh, but, but separate, but, but that's not the case at all. You know, uh, she's only known this person six weeks, which means, and she met him online. So she must've been online for what, a week, two weeks, who knows, three weeks. So, you know, all of this, I mean, it, it, it just made me think about, you know, my God, what is she running to? Or what is she running from? You know, if she's running from me, you know, I think to myself, my God, you know, was I that bad? No, I'm not that bad. And yet, you know, she obviously wasn't happy, really, un really unhappy. She was really unhappy. And yet, what is she moving towards to so quickly in my mind? And look, I know people meet, they fall in love, things happen. But the reality of the situation is, how the fuck do you know someone in six weeks? Again, I wouldn't care if it were not for my kids. So my kids are involved, you know, and I want to know who this person is. You know, um, <laughs> last night I was up, you know, I was thinking, okay, uh, was this, what's this person's background? And, and my ex-wife had some information. She didn't really know. So <laughs> I don't want to go into too many details of this person, but this is where I'm at. This is where my mind is going and it's fucking hard. You know, the other thing here is that You know, when all this went down, I said to my ex-wife, you know, when all this went down in terms of when she mentioned she wanted to get, get a divorce, I broached the subject of moving back to where we had come from our previous state of California. And she said, I can't even think about that right now. You know, I, I just need to deal with what's all this stuff that's going on. But I am open to it. She said that. And so a few months later, I... I brought up the subject again and she said no I, I don't want to move back I'm here I've got a support network I've got people I work with and you know my heart sank in a sense because I, I, I'm not moving back there I'm not leaving my kids I'm staying with my kids and and yet I'm in this town that is look it, it is a great town but it's just not for me um, but I'm here and now with this new development of, you know, her having a boyfriend and, and moving in in June, I kind of feel like that's the nail, <laughs> the last nail in the coffin. Of, I'm here, you know, um, and that's a, a reality that I have to deal with. So it's, it's all of these elements that come into play. You don't think about this stuff, man, when you're, when you're married, of course not. Why would you, you don't think about getting a divorce, but even when you think, Oh, you know, the so-and-so got a divorce or so-and-so got a divorce. I know, you know, I, you can't possibly think about all these elements that come into play. What it means to be blindsided, uh, and in a moment taken out of your reality. Like someone just like hits you over the head with a two by four 
and you are suddenly thrust into a new reality, a new identity. And that's the thing that's really just fucked me up. This, this immediate confrontation about who you are, what you're doing, your relationship with your kids now, your relationship with yourself now, whereas before you were kind of plugged into this reality, plugged into this world, this life. And that's all of a sudden just wrenched from uh, under, no, underneath you, from within you. And welcome to this new world and this new life. And, you know, as, as I talk about this, I'm just continually reminded of how I want to be, how I want to act. I don't, listen... I mean, I've said this before. I, I, I don't hate my ex. I, I, the way she went about this is completely fucked up. And I know that she's going through stuff and has gone through stuff. And that's her journey and her path. You know, my, my doing this podcast is really, hopefully, an attempt to understand in the process what I'm doing, what I'm going through. And it's hard. It's hard. It's a it because it's a constant wave of emotions, of different emotions, of new emotions, and and you think you get used to it. Oh, you know, you okay. I finally got a handhold onto what the hell is going on, and then something happens where there's an interaction with your ex, and something happens, as something did recently. But I, I I'm continually asking myself or I, I like it's like as if I'm looking at myself in the mirror and saying guy how the fuck do you want to move through this how do you want to look back on on yourself and on you, how you acted and what do you want to see what do you want to know uh, in terms of how you treated people and treated yourself and treated those around you as you moved through this process That's one of the things that drives me, you know, and really, and doing this podcast is a moment, is a, is a chance to reflect not only on what the hell's going on, but on how I'm reacting, how I'm managing the degrees to which I'm able to access and attend to my emotions, my, my anger, um, my sadness. You know, someone asked me the other day, are you grieving the loss of your marriage? And I think I am to a certain degree. I'm allowing myself to feel the sadness, to feel the anger, to process those. And there's no right way to do this. I think that's another thing that's becoming more and more apparent. You know, there's no workbook, there's no pamphlet, there's no checklist. I mean, you can create your own, but there's no formal itinerary. <laughs> uh, you know, follow this 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 ten step plan to to move through your divorce and process your divorce. I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you what really would have been helpful, and I, I wished my divorce coach had mentioned this, but to put into place within your divorce document, you know, your child care document and so forth, an agreement in, of how, when it's appropriate, when it's okay to introduce your kids into a new, uh, your new partner. And the, you know, the, 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 that document, uh, the divorce document, is not a legal document, right? The, the child care plan, that is. But the divorce document, that, uh, the one you put together with your partner or ex-partner, 
is not a legal document. It's kind of a guideline that you put through, put together with a mediator. But I wished we had put something that addressed that topic, you know, because now here we are, what, uh, six months out from, from when we got divorced, November, December, January, so five months out, she's, you know, in a relationship and has been for, I guess, a few months and she, in a couple of months, she's going to be moving in with this new person who I don't know and I haven't met and he might be a fine person, but to me, it just feels too soon to not only introduce my kids to this new relationship, which is apparently, in her words, serious, committed, but to have them, she's moving in with him, so they're going to be living in in part with this person in this household. That, to me, is too fucking fast, you know. But that's where I'm at. All right, um, enough for today. Listen, Thank you for listening. Reach out. Let me know what's going on with you, what, what, what journey you're on, um, and uh, stay strong.